Hi, this is Trevor Conkergood. Welcome to this week's RNK Software Club's video for the week. And our topic for this week is about how to import assets and how that is different from using import designs and just how to kind of do them both in general. So we're going to go through the whole thing from top to bottom today. And if you're ready to get started, let's go on to my uh, computer workspace. And what we're going to look at first is actually where you can get some assets to begin with. And so notice that we're on the um, soft website, the rnksoftware.club website. That is where, of course, all Floriani software members uh, will come to get things like assets or free monthly designs and, of course, watch the great videos. Um, you can probably click on any of these links. But, for example, if you click on the Floriani Total Control U link, it will bring you to a page with um, things that are all about that program, um, including uh, things like free monthly designs or free bonus asset files. So let's go ahead and click on free bonus asset files, and it will bring us to a page where there are a couple of things that we could download. Uh, one of them says fonts and shapes, and the other one says Floriani Academy letters. And there's a link right here to download the Floriani Cat Academy letters and a link to download the fonts and shapes. So we'll go ahead and do both. Um, but there's also a little tool tip that's here to, um, it says tip, use tools, import assets. And the one above says tip, use tools, import designs. And that's a little bit about what today's video is all about. So let's go ahead and download them both. Um, this one, I click right here. And when I click there, it starts the download process. You can kind of see my window opened up on the right-hand side and it shows the progress. It's actually done already. Um, <clears throat> the one thing I'll tell you right away is clicking on open file is not going to be your next step. And so if you've tried that, you probably figured out that doesn't work. Um, so all that said, before we go into the Floriani software, I'm going to scroll down and download both of them. So you'll notice um, over on the right that I have two files there, you know, they're in my Windows downloads folder. And um, the thing is it, it, here, if I click on open file, well, Windows won't know how to open an asset file. It might think that it belongs to some other program like Adobe or who knows what, but um, even in Floriani, we don't open them. And I think that's what confuses people. So now that I've collected these two, and I just want to point out again that one says the Download Academy letter says import designs and the fonts and shapes says assets, import assets. So when we go into our Floriani program, we need to keep that in mind. So both options are found under your tools drop down menu. And I think this is maybe what catches people is they want to open the files, but you don't open them. You actually install them by using either import assets or import designs. So import designs is when they're actually a collection of embroidery designs. And typically we use that for our free monthly designs. Um, but we also have used it for those, uh, that font, the Academy letter style font. So if I choose import designs. Now it's going to look, you know, wherever you want to look on your computer. So I know that I will find those if I browse in my folder for my downloads, right? I've got a folder, Windows folder, and there's the two files that we just downloaded. One of them's called Floriani Academy Letters, and the other one is the fonts and shapes. So it's Floriani Academy Letters is the one that said import designs, right? That was, I, I know it says letters and you might think it's a font, but really it's a set of designs is what it is that make up a font. It's a letter style. It's in, these are designs. So if I click on Floriani Academy letters and say open, a window opens up and it shows me that they're going to be stored in my Floriani designs folder. And I just simply need to say select folder unless I want to change the location. But if assuming you're happy where we said they would go, you would just say select folder. Now I've already installed them, so I don't need to choose select folder. 
Um, because if I do, I'll end up with two copies of them. So I'm not going to bother. But I'll show you where they went under my library, where it says fonts. And when you open that up, you will notice that there is a font in there called the Academy Fuzzy Letters. And when you hover over designs, you will be able to see all of those letters and you can click and drag. But understand that this is simply the design of the letter L and this is the design of the letter M. And you can just drag them in. So really, it's um, a collection of embroidery designs. So if we go back to the tools drop down menu and we browse down, we used import designs to bring in the Academy letters, but import assets would be how we would bring in the other file, which includes things like fonts and shapes that were released in a build, you know, previous build. And so when I click on it and say open, it'll look a little different. See, I've got a window that opens up and this time it shows me information about what's included. It says there are fonts. And if I click the expand, there's four fonts and there's also patterns and there's um, fancy fill patterns and motif fill patterns, as well as custom shapes. And so the little plus beside the name simply expands to show you what things will be included. And in my case, I do want to point out that literally everything is coming in red bar. And the red bar means you already have this. So if you were to ever open an asset file, and everything shows up like this one does, does with red bars. It simply means you already have that font and there's no reason to bring it in. Um, you might get an asset file that shows some red and some white. Um, that means that you could, uh, and, and it by default did not check off the red ones. But if there was anything in here that I didn't already have installed, it would have actually been checked off. And this would be white. Now, if you're like, I'm maybe I've got something else called streamers, you can come in and call this streamers too, you know, and notice now it is white. And so if I was to click OK right now, I would get one new font added to my computer and it would be called streamer two. Everything else is marked red because I already have it. And so this is how you import assets. So I'll go ahead and say, okay, and add streamers to as a new font. So in other words, if I come to my text tool now and I begin to make a new embroidery text, then um, we would expect to find in the options under S, so scroll down to uh, what was it called? Streamers two, right? So we added a second copy, but um, so that's how it works. And just know that when you create your own assets, maybe it's a custom shape that you've added to your custom shape library, and you'd like to share it with your friends, you can say tools, and then it would be the opposite, export assets. So instead of bringing them in, now you're getting them ready to send to your friends. So if I say export assets, the similar kind of window comes up. This time, it's the opposite. It's fonts. And now here I have a lot of fonts because, you know, we make a lot of fonts here. And um, you'll notice that I have a lot of custom fonts. Well, I can uncheck them all. And I could just choose to include one of them, right, from my collection in here. And you can go through and find any one font that you wanted to choose to share with a friend and say, okay or all of them if you want to, for you know whatever you've created. Um, hoops, maybe you've created some custom hoop sizes, or like I said, custom shapes. Maybe you wanna, if you've created any custom shapes, if you check off custom shapes and you click select, they will show up on the list. And I can uncheck to deselect, or check all to select all, or deselect and just check that little alien head. And so, Right now, I'm queued up to make um, an asset file that includes one font and one little alien head, you know. And if I say OK, it will actually create a, a Floriani asset file. Now, that'll probably be um, on it's on your C drive under Floriani, right? That's where designs, 
and assets. There's folders there right under your C drive. The designs, well, that's where we save all those free monthly designs. And if I go back up to Floriani assets, that is where if you create an asset file, that's where you'll find it. And you see, I, I create a lot of those asset files. So um, when you share them with your friends, then they will do the import, you know, but you can do the export. So when you look under your tools drop down menu, there's also export designs. So export assets is how you would share a font with your friends. Export designs is how you could create a, a collection of designs that could be sent to your friend, you know, and when you when you export the designs, you also get to choose where they will get saved. So for example, if I wanted to export some designs, I choose the option and two little bars come up. Where are the designs? And where do you want them saved? And there's a little button, you click on it to find them, right? So for example, if I look on my C drive in my Floriani folder under designs, I could select, you know, Trevor's Embroidery Club designs and say, select. There's 400 designs in that folder. And now where do I want them to be saved to? When you save them in your computer, I could click this button right here. And um, it allows me to choose where on I want them to go. So, for example, there's your Floriani. There's your designs. You know, if you wanted them to be saved in a folder here, any folder, you would just select it. If you wanted, if there was a folder called Flowers and that's where you want them to be saved, you select that and say select. And so, see, it's all set to go. My Floriani Embroidery Club designs are going to get saved into an asset file. And when the person receives them, they will get installed into their Floriani folders. You know, And you say, okay. And now you've created a designs package. You know, like I said, there's it's all one zip, right? It's all one. It's not a zip. It's an AST. It's a Floriani asset file, but it, they're designs. And so I think that part of what's confusing is both import assets and import um, designs use the AST extension. And so we kind of consider them all assets, but there's two kinds. And so finally, I think what I want to say is if you receive a file from your friend and you're not sure which kind it is and you try import designs, and if I just go back to that downloads folder, where is that on my computer? And um, so for example, I said import designs. If I select the wrong file, the one that's for the shapes, notice that it comes up and it and it it says select folder. Um, but if I do it, there's nothing in it. And so it saves nothing, is kind of the point. And um, so if it doesn't seem to have worked try the other tool, I think would be the one. It's one or the other. And if you're not sure, um, you typically when we create them at Floriani, so for example, if you go to the free the homepage and you visit the RNK Software Club for the, uh, this is for people that have FTCU, the free monthly designs. And of course, then it's going to ask you to be signed in to be able to download those designs. But when you are signed in, you can go to download by month or the whole thing. Um, there's a video here on how to do it. It'd be very similar to today's video. And there's um, a PDF here to, if you want to follow along step by step. But the steps are generally the same. Browse by month. Let's go to 2024. Um, I'll download the April designs. Notice that they show up over here on the sides. It says April 2024.ast. And um, I you need to know those are embroidery designs, you know. And then when you go into the software, you would say tools, import designs, because there it was an embroidery design. I guess if one doesn't work, try the other is my tip, right? If you're if you're thought it was designs, but really they were fonts, you know, it's one or the other. And um at some point, uh you know, we'll make the tool smart enough to be able to understand, you know, just have one import for both maybe. But right now you just have to learn which one it is. So what I meant to do now is simply say select folder. 
And then it goes ahead and installs those designs for April 2024 into my computer. And so you'll notice that um, the little hourglass will spin for a moment. And when it's done, you'll know because it'll stop spinning and the, um, the designs tab will actually kind of open up on the right hand side and so you kind of just wait for it it doesn't take too long see there it is now and once that happens i know that it's finished importing them you know and if i was to go to the library and look to the free monthly designs for april 2024 you know there they are so that's how it works you guys that is how you can import assets or export assets and how that is different from import and export designs. And as always, if you need any help with any of this, please just contact RNK for a support ticket and we'll be happy to help. Until next time, guys, have a great day and bye for now.